Civilization. Or are these the shadows of dusk before the last long night? The dying embers, the silent end. future, the bright or the dark. The future is up to you. Who? Oh. Me? Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, you and me and everyone, everywhere. Because the sum of all our thoughts and actions will decide which future. And see, among all the people who give life and movement to our globe, there are a hundred ways of life for which men have died. The time is here to ask instead, how can we live? How can we live together on our congested earth? There is no easy answer. There's no easy way. But in our search, we can turn back in time to our common origin, to the spark of life in the primeval waters. design of nerves and sinews, alert, aware, more sensitive than the beasts, whose garden was the whole earth, the simple shelter, the good fruits, the wide horizon. But 
there was another side of the garden. Danger. Loneliness. And the advancing terror of cold. From hunger and loneliness, men banded together. From need, men kindled fire. But when the nourishing fields withered, the tribe scattered over the face of the earth. And time flowed forth in one swift current. Until finally some group paused in some corner of the earth to live and work together in natural isolation, to spin a pattern of life set over the rhythm of nature, rights for birth, rights for death, and rights for the turn of the seasons, a rhythm for work, a rhythm for prayer, and a pattern for beauty and courage. A shape for the shelter, a shape for the temple, and a form for the image of God. So, as the deep current of time flowed through the awakening mind, a picture was formed. Our way is the natural way, as natural as sunlight, as natural as day. But within these groups, there were other forces, other tensions seeking an outlet. Jealousy, anger, guilt. And there was the other tribe across the river, across the hilltop, across the sea. who had different colored skins, ate forbidden food, worshipped other gods, distant, strange, heard only through the distorted ear of rumor. Listen. The other tribe kills the aged. The other tribe has green skins. They have a strange smell. Give them a house and it'll soon be a hovel. No amount of education will ever help them. Our fields are empty this season. Then who's to blame? Throw the god in the river. Who's to blame? The tribe across the river. The people across the railroad tracks. We have many hungry and sick this year. Whose fault is that? The people across the river. They are to blame. They have strange ways. Their ways are unnatural. They are bad. We are natural. They are wrong. We are right. We are right. We are right. We are right. Our way is the right way. we are today, a long way from Eden. The tribes have multiplied constantly until the whole earth is crowded with many different ways of life, overlapping, and the world is brought to our doorstep. The news is hurried to the brain, trouble, fright, hunger, health. Murder. Well, what can I do about the world? Am I my brother's keeper? I'm only one man and my actions won't count. Wait. 
You're not alone. There are people like yourself everywhere, united in a common need to learn to live together in a shrinking world. For in the span of each separate life, everyone grows from a single cell. Sleeps in the dark water, remembering the primeval past. emerges finally to breathe the air of history. Our need to live together, our civilization, our education, have buried in our memory the ancient primal impulses. But they are not dead. Unexposed. Uncontrolled, they will control us. These are the hidden roots of prejudice. In time of need, they can be turned against us. Listen. Hungry? Whose fault is it? The man with the other way of life. Cold? Homeless? Whose fault is that? The man who has your job, the other man. Afraid, angry, want to blame someone else? Blame the man with the other way of life. Blame anyone who's different. Blame, 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 blame. And so you are tied, hand and foot, heart and mind. What can I do? What can I think? Look into your own mind. What picture of the other man do you find drawn there? Do you see the other man as you imagine him? Or as he really is? Do you look for the real man behind the distortion of propagandists? Are you always right? The other man always wrong? Or are the roles interchangeable? How about your own hidden impulses? Do you project them onto the other man, the other race? No man is all bad or all good. Look into yourself. Do you think yourself superior? Perhaps because of the way you dress. Or because of your own familiar music. And all our differences. What shall we make of them today and in the future? Shall one way of life be imposed on everyone until we become automatons, a world of robot minds? Or shall we accept our differences and enrich all our lives with the fruits and the knowledge of many histories? Many patterns. Many songs. And many dances. The world is a good place to live in. The right to live in it is every man. From need, the tribe was born. From necessity, the peoples of our shrinking world must become one people. United across all our differences. 
The current of time is flowing swiftly into the future. And there are always those hungry for the reins of tyranny who would use our prejudices to mislead us. Between us and a united world lies the danger of war, which could destroy not only man, but the earth itself. No! What you think, what you do, is important. For the sum of all our thoughts and actions will decide which future. Darkness? Thank <laughs> you.